Hello, you have a message from Mr. Anthony. Hmm? Tell me. Hi, my name is Anthony, New World Hotel. We would like to talk about how much we appreciate your act during the corona pandemic. What? Say that again? Just leave a message on the table and you don't have to work anymore, okay? Huh? <laughs> wow, it seems like we have a new case on our hands. So let's check out this new problem that is common amongst Vietnamese speakers. We have some sounds that seem to be having a combination. So how do we combine two vowels together and what sound is it going to make? Let's check it out. Today, we're going to take a look at some diphthongs such as A in play, OI in toy, or I as in fine. We also have other diphthongs that we're going to take a look at, so stay tuned. So let's tackle this new problem. When it comes to diphthongs, it's just a combination of vowels. So in the example A, like in the word play, we have a combination of the sound e and the long vowel e. So we have something like play or in the word lake. Let's have a look at our second diphthong, oi. In this one, we have a combination of the sounds o, like in the word sport, and e, as in the word meat. You guessed it. It's a long voweled E. Let's take a look at some examples. We have a word like toy. T O E. Toy. Also, the word enjoy, like enjoy this class. Here we have a combination, you guessed it, A and E. Do you think the E is a long or short vowel? That's right, it's a long vowel. Some example words are fine, fine, or we can say bye, bye. Let's read them out all out loud. Play, lake, toy. Enjoy. Fine. Bye. How was that? Was it difficult? Try again if it's too difficult for you now. The next diphthong is a little bit more special because it also resembles another diphthong. So these two, O oh and O, oh, are very commonly misconceived or also pronounced the same way. So we're going to look at these two at the same time. O as in the word bone or home and O as in the word snow or show. The three next diphthongs are also very similar in the way that they finish with the same ending sounds. In this case, we end with a uh all the time. So, ia, ua, and air. In ia, we have words such as beer, here. For ua, we have words such as tour, tour. And lastly, for air, can you guess? That's right, hair, hair. Good job, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. Okay, so let's recap all the sounds that we practiced with the diphthongs. Can you keep up with me? First off, we have some vocabulary words here that I want you to repeat with me. Let's try. Train. Trend, bear, beer, boat, bot, hair, 
hand. How was that? Was it easy? Difficult? Let's throw in some sentences. The maid forgot her phone there. The maid forgot her phone there. The maid forgot her phone there. Those are three different speeds. Pick and choose your challenge. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your time. These brown sofas are my favorite. These brown sofas are my favorite. These brown sofas are my favorite. Oh, pronunciation tip of the day. Don't forget, if you want to practice these diphthongs, just simplify it down. We're combining some vowels. So in the case of I, we have the vowel sound a and e. So a word like time, time. Now remember to reach for that ending vowel before you hear the next consonant, m. So time, not time. Uh oh, be careful. You give it a try. In summary, we had a new challenge today, the diphthongs. Now, I hope that you remember to deconstruct these combinations of vowels and practice them with the way that we showed you. See you next time. Now, both of these are very important. Yeah. <laughs> so today, guys,